Welcome to our channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Today, we're talking about building muscle endurance fast. Imagine pushing a car until your muscles scream, until you're gasping for breath, until every fiber of your being is crying out for you to stop. That's what it's like to push your muscles to their limit. It's about going beyond what's comfortable, beyond what's easy, and stepping into a realm where only the determined dare to tread. Pushing to failure is a key component in muscle growth and improved endurance. It's the moment when your muscles have given everything they've got and yet, you ask for just a little bit more. It's in this moment of extreme exertion that the magic happens. The fibers in your muscles tear and strengthen, becoming more resilient with every repetition. But caution is the watchword here. Pushing to the limit is about understanding your body's signals, respecting its boundaries, and knowing when to rest. Overexertion can lead to injury, and that's a setback nobody needs. Remember, the key is to push your muscles to their limit safely. Now let's get into the specifics. The repetition range is crucial. You see, the number of repetitions or reps you perform during each set of an exercise can greatly influence your results. If you're aiming to build muscle endurance, a high rep range is your friend. And by high, we mean somewhere between 16 to 30 reps per set. Why is this range beneficial? Well, by performing a higher number of repetitions, you're forcing your muscles to work for longer periods. This isn't about lifting the heaviest weight in the gym, but rather pushing your muscles to their limit, over and over again. Think of it like a marathon runner, training for a race. They don't sprint at full speed for a short distance. Instead, they run at a steady pace for miles and miles, building their stamina and endurance. It's the same principle with your muscles. By doing 16 to 30 reps, you're training your muscles to withstand fatigue and keep going, even when they're screaming for you to stop. This not only builds physical strength, but mental toughness as well. Consider it a test of endurance, a challenge to see just how far you can push your body. It's not easy, but the results are worth it. Strong, resilient muscles that can go the distance. So aim for 16 to 30 reps for a great endurance workout. How many sets should you do? Let's find out. When it comes to building muscle endurance, the number of sets you perform is just as important as the number of repetitions. In fact, performing two sets per exercise can be a game changer for your endurance training. Why two sets? Well, it's all about balance. Two sets per exercise provide enough volume for muscle stimulation without pushing your body into overexhaustion. Now, let's talk about rest periods. To effectively build endurance, it's crucial to keep these periods short. Aiming for one minute or less between sets can supercharge your workouts. Why? Because short rest periods force your muscles to adapt to fatigue, enhancing their endurance capacity over time. So, when you hit the gym next time, remember this. Two sets per exercise and short rest periods are your tickets to fast muscle endurance growth. Keep your rest periods short and aim for two sets per exercise. Exercise selection is another important factor. Let's dive in. When it comes to building muscle endurance, it's vital to incorporate a blend of exercises into your workout routine. This blend should include at least one compound exercise and three isolated exercises for each muscle group. Now you might be wondering why this specific mix, let's break it down. Compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses engage multiple muscle groups at once. They're the big hitters, the exercises that get your heart rate up and push your muscles to their limits. They're also fantastic for improving overall strength and stability, which can enhance your endurance over time. On the other hand, isolated exercises target one specific muscle group. Think bicep curls, leg extensions, or tricep pushdowns. These exercises are fantastic for honing in on those individual muscles and really working them to fatigue. They allow you to focus on form, control, and the mind-muscle connection, which can lead to more efficient muscle contractions and, you guessed it, better endurance. By combining compound and isolated exercises, you're ensuring that your workouts are well-rounded and effective. You're hitting all the major muscle groups, but also paying attention to the smaller, often overlooked ones. This will lead to an overall improvement in muscle endurance, as no muscle is left behind. Include a mix of compound and isolated exercises in your workouts. How often should you train? Let's discuss. When it comes to building muscle endurance, it's crucial to strike a balance. You want to challenge your muscles, but not to the point of overexertion. This is why it's advisable not to hit the same muscle group more than twice a week. Now you might be thinking, but isn't more always better? Not in this case, my friends. 
your muscles need time to rest and recover after a workout. This period of recovery is when the magic happens. Your body repairs the tiny tears caused by exercise, building stronger, more enduring muscles in the process. If you're constantly stressing the same muscle group without giving it time to recover, you're actually hindering your progress. It's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole in it. You won't get very far. So remember, patience and consistency are key. Don't overdo it. Limit training each muscle group to twice a week. Form is crucial, and ego lifting is a no-no. Let's explore why. When it comes to building muscle endurance, it's not about how much weight you can lift, but how well you can lift it. The essence of any good workout lies in maintaining proper form. The right form ensures that your muscles are targeted effectively, leading to better gains and results over time. It's the little adjustments like keeping your back straight, your elbows tucked in, or your knees slightly bent that make all the difference. Now let's talk about ego lifting, the arch nemesis of form. Ego lifting is when you attempt to lift more weight than you can handle in a bid to impress others or satisfy your own vanity. It might feel great in the moment, but it's a shortcut to nowhere. Not only does it increase the risk of injuries, but it also hinders your progress. You see, when you lift weights that are too heavy, your form breaks down. You end up recruiting the wrong muscles to compensate, and that's not what we want. We're here to build endurance, remember? And that means focusing on controlled, precise movements, not hoisting around weights that are too heavy for us. So, let's leave our egos at the door, shall we? It's not a competition, it's about building a stronger, more resilient version of ourselves, one rep at a time. Focus on form, not ego, safety first, always. Lastly, let's talk about recovery. It's just as important as your workouts. The truth is, muscle endurance isn't just about how much you can lift or how many reps you can complete. It's also about how effectively you can recover. Let's start with sleep. Sleep is when your body does most of its repair work. It's when your muscles rebuild themselves, getting stronger and more resilient. So if you're skimping on sleep, you're missing out on a key part of the muscle endurance equation. Aim for seven to nine hours a night and make sure it's quality sleep, free from disruptions. Next, we've got nutrition. Your body needs fuel to recover and that fuel comes from the food you eat. Protein is particularly important for muscle repair and growth. But don't forget about carbs and fats, they provide the energy your body needs to function and recover. So make sure you're eating a balanced diet, packed with whole foods and plenty of protein. And finally, we come to stretching. Stretching helps to increase blood flow to your muscles, which can speed up recovery and reduce muscle soreness. It's an often overlooked part of the recovery process, but it's crucial for building muscle endurance. Remember to sleep, eat, and stretch for proper recovery. Your body will thank you.